What is up everybody, it is Wick here and we're out at some garage sales looking for stuff to flip on eBay and Amazon, looking for that treasure and we're at the first sale here and got the GoPro on, looking for anything we can flip and it's a nice morning, happy to be out again from my surgery, I've been stuck inside a lot so it's good to be out probably to the last community sale of the year I would imagine. Fall is here, and that's when all the sales come down. Uh, there's some speakers, some big speakers. Uh, they look familiar to me. And then I got inside the garage here, and I'm like, oh, I've been to this sale before. Uh, this community has a sale twice a year. I don't know if it was earlier this year or some point last year, but I remember that Captel machine right there for $50. It's actually in a vlog. I had it recorded, uh, still sitting there for $50. Yeah, I would have bought it maybe for five bucks. I uh, get to the next sale and I walk past these tackle boxes and I noticed when I was editing this video that the, the item I ended up buying at this sale was not even sitting there. So I don't know where it was, uh, but it was there on the way back through. There's some Harry Potter books. I actually meant to pick those up if they were a dollar. I didn't know the price I was going to ask. Just completely forgot about them. <laughs> I should probably pick them up. Uh, some Disney collectible glasses. Uh, a bit vintage. I think they were $6 for all of them. I didn't buy them. I don't like selling glassware. There's usually a chip or some sort of flaw in them. They don't sell for great money. So I left them. There's some pumpkin heads. Looking for that those vintage like 1920s pumpkins, right? Uh, they're so creepy and they're quite valuable. Probably will never find any. Looking through the coats, hoping there's some good brands to buy and flip. Not really seeing a whole lot. Cabela's, you know, there's like a Tommy, but that's like a, a kid's Tommy jacket. And nothing on this side. There's an inflatable down there. Uh, I like selling inflatables if they're new. Um, don't trust them at a yard sale because they can have tears. And I don't want to have to set it up and test it before I, you know, list it on eBay. But over there by the tackle boxes, you can see that there's another box sitting there. I don't know if someone had it in their hand and they put it down or the guy had just put it out uh but i hadn't seen it yet there's a dad's bottle i think they had like ten dollars on that there's some of these blow molds you know they can be good but yeah it's a it's a hummingbird fish sonar device uh i like selling these I like picking them up some of them are awesome this one ended up being pretty good done some research and i was pretty happy with the comps and of course, at the end of the video, I go over everything I picked up and estimate how much money. Still got my gas uh, bubble band on. I have to wear that until the gas bubble is completely gone out of my eye. It's pretty small. It's just taken a while longer than usual to disappear. But over at this sale, what do you see? Let me know everything I missed because I know a couple things I missed already. Uh, what we'll end up seeing, um, Christmas decorations. Halloween decorations. There's something awesome on this table that I spot and I knew to pick this Tales from the Crypt light up because back when anyone who's old school remembers when Dustin was going thrifting and garage sales with me, he picked up one of these. It was actually missing the book and he still sold it for about 40 bucks. So um, yeah, I looked in there. I saw the book. I saw it was complete in great condition for $5. That's a no-brainer pickup. I love finding things like this at yard sales, just the things that you know 100% is worth picking up. Here we have some hats in some Ziploc bags. GoDaddy, uh, I'm not sure what the other one was, um, but there's a Bugs Bunny there. They had for $5, and they had on the tape there, I don't know if you can see it, it said $14.97 eBay. So apparently that sells for $14.97 on eBay. I picked it up. I did not end up buying it though. I ended up putting it back just because I didn't want to, you know, drop $5 on a hat that's going to sell for $15. Uh, maybe I should have done my own research. Uh, it could have been worth more, but chances are usually in those situations it's worth less. Here at this sale, we are looking at some knives because I'm like, you know what? I need to check these just in case they're good. I touched them. As soon as I touched them, it felt like they were falling apart in my hand. So I'm like, yeah, those are not good knives. So looking in the DVDs, looking for anything unique. 
uh, looking for the box sets or any sealed media. That's basically what I'm looking for. Uh, I don't really see anything, so you know what? I pass. I don't want to spend a lot of time scanning and going over DVDs when there's so much other stuff to look at. Because right over here, there's something very nice. I saw the Nintendo controller got excited. Then I saw it was for the NES Classic. And, you know, that's not bad. They had $20 on it. Uh, I know that these things, I believe, new are still selling for like over $100, $150. Used, I was thinking, oh, I think it sells for about $60. It actually sells for more than that, so I'm glad I picked it up. It is the official one. There's a lot of knockoffs out there. You got to be careful. Even has the... Uh, extension cord which is like $15 on its own so you know I'd probably end up pricing that at 75 80 bucks minimum and start looking around like what else can I find and on the ground next to me I spot a box of Wii stuff so yeah I like picking up Wii's if if all the ingredients are right I look in there I see a game I see Wii Sports but I pop the Wii Sports open and of course there's no disc um, it's actually some other DVD, but I took the gamble at $25, hoping that Wii Sports was in the system. So, uh, yeah, I picked it up. Uh, it wasn't Motion Plus, and I didn't know what else was in that box. Trying to move quick, put it up at the front, uh, told the lady I was going to buy it, went back and looked at this fishing pole. I don't even know the brand. I was just looking at it like, this is nice, and I saw the price was 50 bucks. And I kind of just got discouraged. I'm like, I don't want to you know, take the time to research that. Even if it's a $100 poll for $50, not too interested in dropping $50 on it. Come over here to look at the shoes. And I do pretty well with shoes. Um, there's a lot of Nike here. And Nike is the shoe brand that I don't know much about. If it was a thrift store, I would check all the Nike. At a garage sale, it has to be something I know about. So I don't know if those were good Nike or not. Uh, I know a, a few to look for. Under Armour, I don't really pick up anything like that. Vintage clothing sitting there, um, not really anything good. Here at this sale, there's a printer, and uh, I've picked those up before. I actually have two or three I need to test. They're not the greatest money, but some models are worth more than others on Amazon. Uh, I believe I'm restricted in selling them on Amazon. That's why I haven't been picking them up. But here on this table... I spot some stuff. You see the Stephen King books? I'm like, ooh, Stephen King books. It's been a while since I come across any of these. And I had done a lot of research on Stephen King a couple years ago. So I'd be knowing which ones to pick up. Um, I picked up a couple good ones, but I left the Bachman, uh, what is it, Bachman Stories. Um, that's a $60 book, I believe. Um, I didn't even really notice that one. The Dark Half, um, Insomnia, all those. I'm like, I know those aren't really valuable. Um, especially if The Shining there, first edition, uh, if it was, you know, it was worth quite a bit of money. And uh, it's hard to find. The first edition, first print, I should say. It was a first edition. I don't think it was, like, the first print. Uh, there's some more ink and stuff. But I come over here to ask the lady about the books. And she asked me about my GoPro. She said there was someone here earlier with a backpack and a camera. And she was just asking me what it was all about. So I guess someone else, you know, out here recording... But, you know, I don't know if they're a reseller or what, but they didn't pick up the Stephen King books. Um, I did. And then I ended up leaving um, probably a $50, $60 book myself. Uh, just a bit of a blunder there. I should have just picked them all up. I should have said, hey, what would you do for all the, the Stephen King books? I was asking her even if she had The Stand or any other Stephen King books anywhere. Um, and then I, I leave a valuable one. It just goes to show you in the moment... You know, you drop the ball sometimes, and, and it seems like I do a lot. And then I got to make these videos and show it to thousands of people, my mistakes. It's a, <laughs> I guess I'm a glutton for punishment. Uh, here at this sale, we're looking through some books, hoping to find goosebumps or, you know, some children's books, some Bible books, anything I can lot together, make some good profit. A ton of shoes here. Now, the lady said that this was from a bunch of people, that it was a garage sale for charity. So there's a lot of different things to look at. Those shoes I thought were Rockport. Maybe I should have picked those up. They were they were pretty nice. I think they were only five bucks. But I'm not seeing a lot of great shoes. But here on this footage, I'm looking. And I'm like, did I look at that shoe? Did I look at that shoe? That shoe looks decent. But I walked through here three or four times because uh, there was so much at this sale. So hopefully I didn't miss any good shoes. There were some like, eh, I could probably sell that for 20 bucks. 
and they cost four dollars but i'm more picky with my shoes because i literally got dozens um i still need to get listed that are you know in better condition and probably more profitable and here we are looking at some toys trying to find something some kids like hey i want to look at the toys and i said get out of the way i got some toys to buy and flip and um no i didn't push him out of the way he's i did kind of cut in front of the kid and he looked kind of sad but i spotted some wii stuff um unfortunately it's just wii u fit um oddly enough and i just picked up you know a set so i decided a dollar for three of these one of them sealed like the wii u fit with the meter so for a dollar i just went ahead and picked it up ninja turtles um don't think that was vintage but it was pretty cool but I did end up missing out on a really good pickup. I turned the GoPro off, unfortunately, and um, <laughs> didn't record it. Uh, you go to so many sales, and at some point you have to turn off the camera, and I just happened to run into another sale. I was done for the day, and I ended up finding something incredible. So here's the haul from going to yard sales yesterday. What an incredible morning to be hitting them. Uh, you gotta excuse my dining room. I got a bunch of stuff going on. Trying to get some things sent to Amazon. I got a bunch of faucets I picked up doing retail arbitrage. That's what that is back there. And I also got some awesome stuff at the thrift store. So we're going to go over the stuff from the yard sales. And then I'm going to show you what I got from Goodwill and a couple other places. First thing I picked up here is this Tales from the Crypt light. Uh, I need to pick this up right away. It's in great condition. Halloween is coming up, so that's top priority to get listed. I'm probably going to list this at $99.99. You know, and if no one wants to buy it after Halloween, I'll mark it down to like $75. I'm not marking it any less than $75. It's in great condition. It works, has all the parts to it. It's a great little pickup. Here we have this Humminbird Wide Vision. Picked this up for $20. And the only one that sold on eBay was like $96 plus shipping. That's the only one I could find for a comp comparison. So I think I'm going to price this maybe like 120 bucks and see if I can get a sale. It's actually never been used. It's The cables are still tied in there. It is a bit dusty and dirty just from collecting dust in a garage, I guess. I sold one of these, not the same one, but I sold one earlier in the year for like 80 bucks. So these are always great to pick up if they're a bit newer. So I picked up this NES Mini for $20. Didn't really want to spend that, but it's in good condition. It's the official one. You got to be careful. Don't buy the off-brand ones. They're everywhere as well. But I should be able to sell this $75, $80, especially during the holiday season. We got some of these Ugg boots. Got these for $5, so $2.50 a pair. They are in pretty good condition. They're suede, so they're kind of worn. And I bought these because I have another pair of Ugg boots, some tall gray ones. They're the same size. So I'm just going to do a lot of three. I got $10 into all three pair, and, and I'm just going to price it maybe at like $59.99 plus shipping. Uh, somebody's probably going to buy them. The reason I'm not selling all three individually is because each one of them have a little bit of wear to them. And I'm just going to advertise them as, you know, kind of like a fixer upper lot of three Ugg boots. So next I have these Stephen King books. I did leave one of the more valuable ones I'm aware of. It's about a $60 book I left there, I believe. But I picked up a couple good ones. Like The Shining here from 77 is a really good one. This is probably a $30 to $40 book. Uh, it's not first edition, I'm pretty sure. I, I'm pretty sure it would say first edition down here. If it was first edition, it would probably be about a $60 or $70 book. I paid $2 for it, so I'll probably list this at about $40. It's in extremely good condition. And then we got Stephen King It. This is the Viking. This is, I don't, this might be first edition. I did some quick research before this video. Uh, this one I don't think the said first edition. I'll figure it out though and it'll be on the screen if it is. But even not first edition, this is still selling, you know, probably $25 to $40. So yeah, it was worth picking up. Um, hopefully it is first edition, but I wouldn't hold my breath on that. If it is in this condition, you know, still like maybe $50, $60. And unfortunately, the Tommy Knockers I picked up because I couldn't remember if it was valuable and I didn't take the time to look it up. Uh, and I left the valuable one. I, I didn't even really notice it when I was looking. Definitely a mistake on my part. But I did get this awesome PlayStation lot. And unfortunately, I had just retired the GoPro for the day. 
wasn't planning on hitting any more sales and I came across one is like at 11 30 uh, almost noon so the fact that this was sitting there is just unbelievable itself the first thing I done is she had all the games laid out here and I saw Tamba 2 here I knew that was a valuable game one of the rarest games probably like one of the top 10 rarest games on PlayStation I would guess so I picked this up I said how much are your games and she's like that's the one everyone picks up but I'm not selling it she said I'm selling it all together and she had an eBay printout for $150 for just a random PlayStation 1 lot. I'm like, oh no. But she said there had been multiple people trying to buy that game. And I just could not believe that they didn't just buy this lot. She told me to make an offer. And I said 80 bucks, And she took it. And this game alone right here is worth 80 bucks. It's in pretty good condition. It's got the manual and everything. So definitely a great pickup. And we got Rampage here, which is like a $40 game. I mean, the case is cracked, but you can swap out cases. Like, Casper is not worth much. I don't think there's any more. X-Blades, Monopoly, a lot of, like, shovelware. This one's, like, got a printout. It is the actual disc, though. Action Bass. What else we got there? Who wants to be a millionaire? NCAA Football 2000. Could be some NCAAs. Pretty good. I don't know about PlayStation. Ford Racing, Caesars Palace, Tetris Plus, Tekken 2. Most of these games aren't worth selling individually, so they'll be lauded together, except for the Tomba 2 and the Rampage. Here's a long box PlayStation game, Ridge Racer. It's complete. It's not one of the more valuable long boxes. Still about 15, 20 bucks in this condition. Really good condition. We just got a bunch of these discs here. I'll just kind of go through them for anyone who's interested. Jupiter Strike I thought might be worth something. I don't think there's anything rare in here. Gran Turismo, Game of Life, uh, Triple Play, a lot of sports games, Micro Machines, Spider-Man, Pro Fishing, and just some sports games here. Now, I'm just going to lot the loose disc and all the shovelware here and just sell this. I'll probably make $50 just on that at least. But it just blows my mind that, you know, <laughs> people did not buy that. Let's get into some more of this stuff. I picked up this Pokemon camera from 1999. It's selling for about $30. So I picked that up for two bucks. Got this Wii lot. Again, I picked this up and I, I was buying it based on a gamble. Wii Sports, I can get about $20, $25. I almost always get $25 if I hold out. But of course I opened it and it had some random fitness DVD in there. I'm like, oh no, I bet it's in the system. So I took the gamble, got it home, and opened up the Wii and the popped out the uh, Wii Sports. So lucky there. I'll probably price that at $24.99. It'll eventually sell. Minimum, I'm going to sell that for $20. Uh, Donkey Kong Country Returns, I'll probably be able to sell that for at least $20. It's in like mint condition. It's got the fitness board. It's not a Wii Motion Plus, unfortunately. And I picked up a, a lot of these for a dollar which was random, these Fitness Plus and like just Wii Fit, uh, mostly just for the cases. But there's also a sealed Wii Fit U meter there that came with it. So I think I can sell that maybe for like 12 bucks by itself. The Wii's clean, it's got all the paperwork, has the nunchuck and cables over there, so it's all good. Oh, and real quick, picked this up for $2. This is an Orvis, uh, just an Orvis sweater, vintage. It's got fly fishing on it, so kind of good content. It's looking like it sells for about 30 bucks on eBay. So I think it was worth picking up for $2. And then I picked up two items while I was out. Stopped in Goodwill and I picked up this Dragon Naturally Speaking software with the mic for $4.99. It is still sealed and this is selling for about $50 on eBay. And I picked up this knife set for $7.99. I was kind of surprised one sold on eBay for 40 bucks plus shipping. And this one's still sealed. It has staples in it, unless Goodwill put those staples in, which I really doubt. They did put the tape around it, uh, even though it was stapled. But for $7.99, I figured, yeah, I'll pick these up. I'll list them for $40 plus shipping. You know, if I end up needing some knives, I'll just pull them out of my inventory and use them. They'll probably make about $20 if they do sell. And that's it for the video, everybody. What a great morning thrifting and hitting those yard sales. Found some cool stuff. We're going to make some great profit. On the way out, hit that like button for me. If you enjoy the content, be subscribed so you don't miss any of it. You can find me on Twitter and Instagram at flipping underscore junk. And this has been Wick.
Till next time.